Hi, I'm Robin Myers, Technical and Training Specialist for Troxler Electronic Labs. And I'm Clint Van Winkle, Product Manager for the Laboratory Equipment here at Troxler. Troxler is starting a video series on proper use of our nuclear gauges and our plant and lab equipment. Uh, the first video we're going to do today is about transportation of your nuclear gauge. Uh, we want to teach you how to transport it properly and stay in compliance with all of the regulations. So what's the first step when you take your gauge out to take it to the job site? You remove it from the storage room. You want to open up the case, take out the gauge, and check a couple things. First, make sure there is a handle, uh, a lock on the handle uh, to keep it from being uh, lowered if it gets into the wrong hands. Also, turn it on and check the power. Make sure you have enough power to get through the day's work. About seven volts is full charge for most of the gauges, so make sure you're close to that or else, of course, charge it up if you're not. Also make sure you have chargers in the case, especially the DC charger. If you get into a bind in the field, you'll need to have that with you. Next, check and make sure all of your accessories are in your case. You'll want to have your uh, drill rod, extraction tool, scraper plate, standard block, and your standard count log book where you record your standard counts every day. What about the hammer? Oh yes, it won't fit in the case, so you'll need to make sure your hammer is handy. Very good. Okay, next step, inspect this case. Make sure it's in good condition. No holes on the outside of the case or the inside. Uh, make sure the hasps and locks and hinges are all in good condition. Uh, labels have to be in good condition. Nothing can be torn, scratched, unreadable, anything like that. Uh, a lock or a security seal should be on the outside of the case uh, to show if there's been any evidence of tampering with the case. So what do I do if it's not okay? Contact your RSO. They will help you fix the situation or get a new case. Okay. And am I responsible for all of this? You are. Okay. Okay. Uh, your RSO is responsible for your whole program, but you are responsible for making sure that it is proper uh, in proper condition for transporting. Once you sign this gauge out for the day, it's your responsibility to follow all of the transportation rules. Okay. Got it. Um, so the next thing to be sure of is that you have the proper shipping papers, your bill of lading, and your emergency response information sheet. Those are the two things you have to have when transporting the gauge. Some companies like to have other things like maybe a copy of your license, leak test results, training certificates, uh, company procedures, that's fine. But as a minimum, your bill of lading and your emergency response information with you at all times when you're transporting the gauge. Next step, uh, make sure the gauge is placed in the cargo area of the vehicle, not in a passenger seat. You'll have to have two locks to keep it from being lost or stolen. So in a closed vehicle, uh, the vehicle can be one of the security features, but you'll have to at least have one chain and lock to keep it from being stolen, uh, for the whole case from being stolen, and at least one lock on the outside to keep the gauge uh, from being stolen out of the case. If you're in an open bed pickup, you'll have to double that. You'll have to have at least two chains and locks to keep the whole case from being stolen and at least two locks to keep the case lid from being opened. Okay. One way to meet all of those is to buy the nukes box that mounts to the bed of the truck. Uh, so that's one option. So where does the shipping paper go? Okay, so once you've got this properly in the cargo area of the vehicle, make sure your shipping papers are in one of two places, either in the pocket of the driver's side door or on the passenger seat facing up. So if there's an emergency, someone enters the vehicle, they can find it right away. Okay. okay. So in future videos, we will address use of the gauge, so stay tuned for those. If you need to contact us in the meantime, you can email us at marketing at troxlerlabs.com or visit our website at www.troxlerlabs.com. All right, let's go get some coffee. No, we're going to the job site. Oh, okay. Okay, we can find time for some coffee. <laughs>